we are used to to hit although these uh, these stream levels are also somehow um, uh, posing the people to somehow new levels of this experience. Uh, it's really hot at the moment, isn't it, in Europe? Uh, the Cerberus heat wave, named after the hound of hell, is baking the Mediterranean and things, uh, well, they're set to get even hotter in some corners of Europe in the coming days. Let's go to Spain and Italy for a check-in then. Uh, first of all, to Barcelona with uh, Joffre Carnicia, who's a climate scientist at the Centre for Ecological Research in Barcelona. Uh, good morning to you. How how hot is it there right now? Well, now the good morning. The situation is is quite okay. So the the heat wave uh, pressure has diminished, but uh, over the last three four days uh, we we were experiencing uh, strong pressures in terms of uh, heat in all the may, major cities in the in the area and also in in the countryside areas as well. And. Temperatures are set to go up to 45 degrees Celsius, um, I understand. So how is Barcelona preparing uh, for even more heat? So there's a public plan to forefront this, this problem and, and uh, the public administration has disposed uh, shelters, climatic shelters, which are conditioned uh, more than 200 uh, in several areas of the city including uh, schools or social centers, and is also tracking the elderly people, uh, getting in contact and giving advice by telephone and, and other channels as well. Gosh, climatic shelters. Uh, it is incredibly serious, of course. Uh, we've seen um, uh, the death of that uh, worker on the streets in Rome, and that, and that is something that um, uh, all the European countries affected by this heat wave will be incredibly wary of. Um, um, I gather that one of the regional governments uh, has also started a telephone assistance service. I don't know if you know about this Jofra, um, but it's already had 54,000 calls since it opened in early June. What kind of questions do you imagine that that they're getting from people? What do people not know about the heat that they need to in a place like Spain, which is you know fairly experienced at heat after all? Yes, well, we are used to to heat, although these uh, these stream levels are also somehow. Um, uh, posing the people to somehow new levels of this experience. So people is basically asking for advice on on uh, how to to uh, make uh, little choices in their houses, like um, installing fan devices or also the, the, the public services that are nearby uh, in their neighborhood to, to get some assistance, basically. Mm. And uh, tell me about the climate science behind this. I, I mean, we have broadly heard that we can thank, you know, climate change, global warming for this. Just uh, explain what's happening here in a meteorological sense. So uh, basically, the heat wave pressures are directly connected, uh, as uh, all agreed climate science, with CO2 emissions and greenhouse gas emissions. So... So we are really experiencing what was predicted in the IPCC, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change Reports. And, uh, and the best way to tackle this problem is to drastically reduce the emissions over the next decades, because there's a very strong connection, according to accepted science, be between the emissions and the pressures that we later on experience as, uh, in the form of heat waves. Okay. And um, in terms of this sort of particular heat wave, can we identify, so it's not reaching the UK, uh, we understand, but can we identify what's actually happening in this specific case? Yes, it's normally warm air that is advected from the oceanic areas into the continental areas. And the trajectory, it, it varies a lot. For instance, as you were mentioning this time, it's not affecting the UK. So this uh, warm air mass is, uh, has passed, has visited the Iberian Peninsula and is, and is moving now earthwards, affecting Italy and possibly the eastern Mediterranean areas and some central European areas as well. Mm, yeah, temperatures could go as high as 48.8 degrees Celsius as a red alert warning uh, for cities like Rome, Bologna and Florence in Italy. We were hoping to speak to uh, an Italian journalist, but unfortunately, well, 
I think the telephone line's melted. That is the only sensible solution. We've not yeah. been able to get hold of them today. Um, if Spain veers into those sorts of temperatures, I mean, you've talked about climatic shelters in Italy. They've been um, discussing the fact that they'll maybe need to put regulations in force for people who are working outside during the hottest hours of the day and limit that. Do you think Spain will do something similar? Could there be kind of a midday lockdown uh, scenario, do you think? Well, uh, they, they are possibly considering in the government, although this, these measures are not implemented yet, there's a climate change adaptation plan with hundreds of measures and and, and, all, and all these policies are in, in consideration by, by the government, yes. Geoffrey Carnesia, thank you so much for speaking to us, climate scientist at the Centre for Ecological Research in Barcelona. Thank you.